Ladies and gentlemen, I will still take more steps at this subject of the only of Ife's obsession with the Igbo people because of what is at stake. National survival of the Igbo people. Alone in Nigeria, the Igbos have suffered genocide. Many other groups in Nigeria have suffered other crimes against humanity. I didn't say all the groups in Nigeria, for example, nobody has tried to exterminate the only Yoruba people. But some other groups in Nigeria have suffered massacres, suffered some other crimes against humanity. But when you talk about the egregious, heinous crime that starts with a G, genocide, the Igbos uniquely have suffered it. So we have to get the Igbos jealously against both physical and cultural genocides. And when we see series of actions and words that lead to genocide, we are worried. According to James Waller, one of the leading scholars in genocide studies, he said that genocide can be predicted, can be foreseen. When somebody systematically lies about Igbo origins, we cannot say we don't know what the person is up to. The only of Ife is systematically engaging in revisionism. Saying something his elders did not say. In fact, go to my book, An African American History, where I referenced what I'm going to talk about now. When the only began to claim, to allege, to lie, that the Igbos had anything to do with Ileife, the late and laughing of Oyo, his elder by every standard, both as a king of the Yorubas and as an old man told him, respect the Igbo people. Stop that, step away from that route you are on. I didn't know that he had, I didn't know that it was going to be systematic. Until last week again, he repeated that the Igbos came from Yoruba land. Why his objectives are so clear is that there are so many things that are crying for his attention, for the good of his people. The Yorubas are scattered in Nigeria. They need to be gathered together. Why doesn't he take upon himself the task of doing that? The Shekiri people are Yorubas. They are presently in the south-south of Nigeria. They should be reunited with their kid and kin in the southwest of Nigeria. There are Yorubas in Kogi. I worked with one of them. I know that they will be happier if they are reintegrated into the Yoruba nation in the southwest. Of course, we all know the history of the Yorubans in Elorim and the other parts of Kwara State. What has the only done to bring all these peoples back under the Yoruba umbrella? Before Salim fought to claim that the people, a people whose culture is opposite Yoruba culture, the Igbo people, came from Yoruba land. And as I said in my previous presentations, unfortunately, we have Igbo opportunists who will see opportunity in what's going on, who will think that if we back him up, he might help us to get contracts, who would not recognize that the only simply is imagining, attempting to assimilate the Igbo people. And he's not going to be able to assimilate the Igbos because Omenana has not gone completely. What he's going to do is to ruin what is left.
because they will be struggling to be Yoruba and to be Igbo and they will be neither because the culture of the Yoruba and the culture of the Igbo are worlds apart I will illustrate with just one example to the Yoruba the only name of Yifei is Orisha Orisha means God Gods the Igbo people remain the only people in the world who boasted that they burnt things that the contemporary Igbo assumed they were gods. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Most humans in the world fear the divine and their own divinities. I've never seen any people that abandon their gods. People are afraid of their gods. But the Igbos are telling you that they are saying that if the some things the contemporary Igbo assumes we are gods becomes arrogant <laughs> they will tell them the trees or the wood they were carved from. Why I, I'm making this emendation, making it clearer is as an expert in Igbo culture and religion, the Alose originally meant not what the contemporary Igbo assumes they meant. The things, are, the things called Alosi today, some we are charms, some we are amulets, some we are shrines, some we are sacred places, some we are strong ancestors. The contemporary Igbo assumes they were gods. But the saying tells you the, how the Igbo people see the world. They do not have, they fear God but they don't have an unreasonable fear of the divine. But to the Yoruba, to even the contemporary Yoruba, the Un is a god. And even though the Yorubas remain alongside Igbos, one of the most educated groups in Africa, one of the most traveled groups in Africa, they still see that Un as a god. So, can you find two more different societies? If he succeeds in getting the Igbos under his banner, under his control as he imagines, as he dreams he could, he will discover that they will be very disruptive. They will be under kick. So, oh ni, I appeal again, let the Igbos be. Let them be, they have a lot of problems. And we are looking at ways to tackle the, those problems. So, don't worsen our problems. Don't stop confusing our people. Stop confusing the weak ones among us. The ones that are finding it difficult to accept our faith. We are the perpetually attacked people. We are the people of Israel. We are a branch of the people of Israel. That is who we are. We are Israelites. Hebrew means Hebrew. Let us be what we are. Thank you.